What's up everybody, 915 Mag here doing a video today about my uh, Zoas. We're going to go ahead and cut them up because I have a whole bunch that um, I want to control. A lot of my Zoas and Pallies are growing off of the frag plugs, uh, even growing off of the frag discs. So I'm going to go ahead and get them, cut them up, pit them in the tank. But what I'm doing right now is I'm seeing which ones I want to cut up. I'm making a mental note. Because once you start fragging, uh, it's good for me to stay in a rhythm of like, okay, I'm going to hit these ones up. These ones are coming off of the frag disc. I'm going to get the next ones. And uh, there's also some that I'm like, okay, I won't cut those ones up. I want them to grow a little bit more and go from there. Now, fragging is great because it's a, a good way of sharing your corals. You know, of course, for a little price or trading your corals. Or maybe something else that you want uh, that somebody else has. Uh, most of my corals, I have gotten them online. And so that's why I have a whole bunch of different variety of corals. And um, so that's why I'm going to cut them up and um, grow them in the 20 gallon. This video is just going to show you how I do it. This is not the uh, proper way. This is not the way that you have to do it. This is just an idea. For you to adapt, if you like the way that I do it, then do it like this. If you have a better way of doing it, leave it in the comments below. Uh, for sure, pay attention. The best way, though, is if you can break it off with uh, some bone cutters without actually cutting the uh, pally or the zoa, that's the best way to do it um, because you're not doing any damage to your coral. Now, what I do have to say, this is the number one most important thing is protect your eyes okay your eyes can get juice that zoa juice you'll have a big uh infection in your eyes and it's not cool um i have got almost got squirted but uh, you know what i was lucky um it didn't so wear eye protection another thing is i have a tray i have tweezers i have plastic tweezers i have my set my kit ready to go um I prefer to use a razor. I have all my frag plugs right here. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and show you the glue. The glue that I use, I love the BSI glue, but this is the uh, dollar store glue. Comes two packs of glue per uh, package, and it is actually a dollar. Now, I have seen these for two dollars, like at Hobby Lobby, the same exact glue that they sell for a dollar. So, uh, you know, shop around and make sure it is a dollar. Now, the thing that I like to use is a clean, brand new razor, okay? I use this razor, cut up the pallies, and scrape them off of the frag plugs. But, you can not use a rusty razor. After one use, go ahead and throw this razor blade away. Um, you don't want to get cut with it, and you don't want to cut your corals with it, because you can get a serious infection. I actually have two sets of eyeglasses. I have my clear set right here, which is great for fragging daytime or nighttime um, because sometimes we mess around with the tanks at night. But I also have these yellow ones. These yellow ones are uh, shooting glasses and they work pretty good because they make the colors pop out a little bit better. I'm sure they have some orange ones. If they had some orange ones, those would probably be the best ones to use. But you can see that the yellow ones kind of make things stand out a little bit better and uh, it's a little bit easier. You know, it really doesn't make a difference, but the yellow is cooler and uh, they work, protect your eyes. Now, what I like to do, um, I like to turn off the flow in my tank from, I have two pumps, um, QP16, so I like to turn the flow off on my tank so that way I can uh, frag a lot easier, see what I'm doing. And I also take off my auto top off. Um, the reason why is because when I'm, I have my hands in the tank, I'm moving rocks around and things like that. I don't want the thing to send off an alarm or just keep pumping water in there from me removing rocks. Whenever I do my fragging, I like to do it above the tank. I like to do it sometimes inside of the tank. Um, I don't like to frag on the kitchen table, on the counter where you're going to be eating and things like that because... You can get poison, the zoas will squirt out, contaminate the area, things like that. So if I'm cutting on top of the tank, it's just going to go back in the tank water 
and it's not going to be a, a issue. You do want to wear gloves, and also while I'm on top of the tank, I can see, you know, those ones are growing. Those ones look good. Those ones, you know, I can plan out the zones that I want to uh, frag. Not only that, but I love the top-down view, something that you don't get to see on my tank. Being a uh, 180, it's actually not that tall, but my stand itself is holding it pretty tall. So I'm about six something feet in the air. And uh, what I did is I prepared my frag plugs first, get the glue on there, little dab, then I start cutting it. And I like to use the razor as my tool. Once I make that clean cut, I use my thumb, slide it right over top of the uh, frag plug and the glue and slide it in place and then just dip it in the water so that way it can cure and just repeat the process um, i'm not trying to frag everything but before you know it the um, time passes by and you have a whole bunch of different frags different frag plugs different zoas and pallies all over the place um, i do put them out of the way of um, the main flow so that way the glue can cure and the uh, zoas will not fly off so easily but uh, this is just how i do it hope you guys enjoyed the fragging video a lot of people can use iodine what iodine will do is will protect your uh, pallies from getting an infection so it's just something to think about little little advice there for you guys Thanks guys, you guys have a good one, like and subscribe and take care.